I am Candace Harris from Board Game Geek. I'm here with Isaac Bluefoot Thank from you. Dragonflower Inc. And we're checking out Omen Quest, the world deck. Yeah. Tell me what this is all about. Okay. These and cards look crazy. Thank you. In 2007, <laughs> when I first made this game, uh -huh. storytelling game you can't lose wasn't a sentence yet. Oh. People couldn't hear it because yeah. I was breaking too many paradigms at once. Ah, uh, so, uh, storytelling game you can't, can't lose. lose. No, no. But that doesn't mean it's not challenging. Mm. Like it can get real sometimes. So okay. everyone's got an inner iceberg, an inner tsunami, an inner cave, rapids, like tarot low clouds. Cards. Well, yeah, that's definitely. I'm. I was inspired art-wise um, yeah. by uh, Pamela Coleman Smith made the tarot, and okay. also Hakusai, ah. the Japanese artist, because you know, there's a lot of nature yeah, in here. So because everyone's got an association with all of these different parts of nature, mm -hmm. you can't help it. Yeah. You've got like feelings sure. about them. We can turn those into toys and play with our subconscious mind Ooh. and start manipulating it in a fun game. Ooh, but the outcome deep. is like, you're like connecting to something in yourself and then you're like seeing your friends connect. Yeah, you're like, yeah. yeah. It's like, as games go, it's like minimalism. We've okay. stripped out all the components until gotcha. all that's left is your friend and hearing how they feel yeah, and having yeah, a real moment. Emotions. But but it's still working on like a lot of game mechanics. Like I like to think a game is anywhere you have to navigate scarcity. Okay. Because like, like a game <laughs> mechanic is like using leverage on some sort of scarcity. Right, like, I only right, got this right. many of this resource, I have to figure out this. I only have this many turns. Yeah, how am I so, gonna make it work? Yeah, yeah, so this also has it. So let me just deal you some cards. Okay. Because you can't lose, you can't cheat. Okay. So we can see each other's <laughs> cards and it will never matter. Gotcha. So my favorite of the many games that could be played with Omen Quest cards okay. is Haikyuu. Ah, so you have a lot of different games in the box that use the same deck of cards. Precisely, just like a deck of cards. Cool. Except for the difference is we've thrown out numerics and symbols so that gotcha. you can just use them in these free form okay. kind of ways. Cool. A haiku is not a haiku. Because <laughs> a haiku is, of course, specifically 575. Right, right. But IQ is a funny way of saying what's not a poem. Oh. Okay? So you take your cards. Okay. We each get five cards playing haiku. Um, there's some rules that are absolutely must be followed in Omen Quest. Okay. Mostly there's a lot of like just etiquette. Okay. Okay. Is, so is it's this like, the whole rule book here? The two um, cards? They, 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 these have their rules. <laughs> okay. The so each. But th okay. these are more like welcome because this is a little different trying to like welcome you. And the yeah. etiquette is things like when you get good at this and you practice, yeah. don't look at your cards when it's not your turn. Mm. That's how you know you're listening. Because uh, because we don't know when we're listening. Well, yeah, proverbially in life, we're I'm always looking cards. at our cards, going, yeah. "What am I going to say next?" Yeah. Um, and when you're new, <laughs> look at your cards. I right, get it. Right. I get right. it. But once you one got day, it down, the one day, is let me listen to what you have to say. Hopefully. <laughs> so okay. okay. So about high cue. From the depths, there's some wild feelings down there. Kind of mucky. Okay. So you play three cards. That was my turn, yeah. Now you get it from your cards. You have to do more than one. Okay. You have to speak out loud as you lay down a card. Okay. And you can do any number of your cards. And I just say what I'm feeling. There, there's nothing here. Let me show you in the box. Here. Okay. Yeah. Little <laughs> affirmations. You can't fail, and yet you only get better. <laughs> so go for it. Okay. Nothing like a first turn. I'm going to draw back up. All right. I feel calm. And uh, the swimming water, uh, but also chaotic. Bing, you're okay. playing. Okay, <laughs> crashing in to what was a really pretty chill time. And speaking of time, it slips away so quickly. Soon I'll have to go. Okay, was I supposed to draw more cards? Yes, you draw, <laughs> like, draw back up to five. Okay, draw back up to five. And then do it again. Okay. So now we're putting four cards out. All right. I'm alone with a collection of board games, perhaps Omen Quest. Let's slide this slightly forward. I'm alone and I have my personal oasis, but I'm flooded with ideas. I don't think. Okay, <laughs> you can't estimate this. It is profoundly hard to even comprehend. You are a genuine star. I am bombarded with everything, everything. Um, I, I got hit by something huge, a huge idea, but now I feel serene and I'm calm. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, three cards. Yeah, I'm good, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Any okay. number of cards. Oh, okay, okay. No one's taking you to poetry cards. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're fine. You're fine. It's really just more than one. Because yeah. I, I don't think if you don't connect two concepts together, gotcha. that you actually activated what's going on between gotcha. your associations. So I rush right in. Roll with the hills. And um, it doesn't have to be a right tangle. Ah. Ooh. I wish I had the jungle card. Here. Hey, nice. This game is magical. <laughs> I'm get, getting snaps over there. I like it. <laughs> All right, I'll put this one back. Okay, I am roaming through the jungle. <sighs> but the eye of the storm is ahead. And I am feeling very cosmic. That's it. You did it. Yeah. I've been brewing on this idea. It inspired me. I got stars in my eyes. <laughs> this is great. I want to. Can you tell me about how some, some of the other ones? For sure, for sure. Let's, work because this is fly that cool. over. Um, the first two I ever invented were High Q and Shapeshifter. Okay. Shapeshifter is like a dueling game. Do you remember in Sword in the Stone when Mab and Merlin are like changing shape and like yes, going yes, back and forth? Yes. Yes. In that game, we have hands of three, and like. Um, I am the ocean saltier than the estuary. Okay. And then you would go and respond to the beach and we go back and forth. Gotcha. But funny thing happened when I played this with couples uh -huh. or anyone that was going to be a couple because they had crushes on each other. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Um, they'd ignore me. Uh, I would put my card down. They would be responding to each other to each over other and understand. over and over again. My card would go in like it was nothing. Uh. So I had to invent a new game. Okay. Ratio <laughs> is the same exact game, but we put the cards next to each other in two piles. All right. So you're all gonna right. cover the one that you're not relating to, oh. which is like the most complicated rule in all of Omen Quest. <laughs> um, and I, but by doing that, what it did was the the couples were no longer tracking their loved ones. Gotcha. And instead, gotcha. like, and, and and if I am the third wheel, I don't realize it. Yeah. Because I yeah. still see cho choices. Choices. And I'm not being gotcha. ignored and blah blah blah. Gotcha. Um, the other games, so a lot of them are like high Q. You tell me is where I would give you three cards. Oh, and I interpret. And you're what gonna you're give it, and you're to gonna say. make a poem. Okay. No, no, it's still oh, your poem. I, I make a poem, but with but your you cards. But you don't get to pick the cards anymore. Oh, um, another one, make it rhyme, which is okay. kind of a natural advancement for anything's a high Q, but rhyming poems. Mm. People who like to do that want to know that yeah. that's their game. It gives them an arena cool. to do that. Take two is like a much more high-paced game. Where All you right. Grab two cards and make a sentence. Um, Reflect, reflect. <laughs> nice. So, and then that one's got a high fire pace. And then Family Tree is completely different from these other ones. Family Tree, you get one card per hand. Okay. And you have the choice as you're building a whole family to the blue side up is, a, is the female and green side up is male. Okay. And so that each person gets to decide who this member of the family will be. Ooh. And you just give them the name of the card. Yeah. And then you kind of would say, oh, Mist, he was kind of a far out guy. He'd go on walks and just wander. And then another, <laughs> and then in your turn, you'd like figure out who his partner was, yeah, or his parents, yeah. or child. And this game, it's the only one you can't jump in on mid-game. Gotcha. Like any of these other ones, someone comes up, you can you deal just, them in. Yeah, we're rolling. Here's what we're doing. Yeah. But if someone comes in on this one, it would be like say half an hour, 45 minutes into the game, they walk in. It takes another half an hour, 45 minutes to catch them up, uh, which I've noticed everyone's just as excited. Yeah, yeah, about catching yeah. them up, and then like it goes the whole time and. Yeah. By then a new game starts. Okay, and then like I'm looking each each game has its own player count on Well them. kind of. I'm my theory is any most of them can start at two. Mm-hmm. But um, to a degree, there's you have to be able to hear who you're playing with. Okay. So eight plus. Yeah, then it's like you know, it's I'm, a little, I'm, I'm like chaotic. If, if five people is the most you can hear in a room. Yeah. If yeah. you can't hear each other, sure. you can't play. Sure. Um, and so but ratio is the only game that's not two because it's the three player version of Gotcha. One, which is yeah. only a two-player game. Yep, makes so, sense. So yeah, exactly, exactly. And is this available? Where can people yeah. find Omen Quest? Well, first, OmenQuestCards.com, obviously, okay. is the easiest place to get an Omen website. Quest. website, yeah, yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I, I make a pretty fancy website. <laughs> um, and then, um, it's a, we're new, we're a really baby company, okay. so I've reached out, I've got a stack of business cards yeah. that people are going to be buying them, so we're going to be out. Oh, it's going to be available. Get it now, it's, yeah, No, seriously, though, You're because it, I can, we're, we're such a small print run, it's yeah. now been predicted that it's the success arc we're on is going to lead to a hiccup this year. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be a moment where you won't <laughs> didn't get Omen Quest. Hopefully it'll be the only moment in history. Right, right. Besides <laughs> before all the 10, 12 long years before I managed to actually get the deck from, yeah. from concept to 
right. to your hands. Yeah, and I, I can totally see with such a small box and the way this open-minded game, you can take it with friends to the beach or if you be at a winery or something. You get it. It's, yeah. it's not for your game shelf. It's for your yeah. purse. Yeah. You're around people. Let's have an experience together kind You'll of thing. miss it once you're used to having it on yeah. you because you won't have the opportunity to, like, get your friend to, like, open up just yeah. a little bit. And the yeah. funny thing, my little sister said, it's like sharing secrets that you don't know what the secret is. Ah, so you don't have to feel too vulnerable, but right. you feel heard. Right, right. Which is satisfying, Very interesting. to say the least. Well, thanks, Isaac. Thank um, you. Everyone, this is Omen Quest, the world deck. Lots of different games in there if you're interested. The website is again... OmenQuestCards.com. OmenQuestCards.com. Thanks, everybody, for watching. <laughs>